Welcome back. In today's video, we have a submission from Starship Captain Becca, and it's about this nice looking background cityscape. So let's see what can be changed. Now, the first thing I'm noticing is that this is a JPEG. This isn't a PNG or GIF. As you all know, in pixel art, we should always export in PNG or GIF because those two formats are lossless, meaning we have no artifacts like we do in JPEGs or JPEG or some other formats that compress the image, which in then in return create these artifacts, meaning all of these unnecessary colors. So it kind of ruins the pixel art. Now, I know that you know this because from your other posts on the server, since you are an active member of the server, I know that you know this. So don't worry about it, but this is still an information for any other beginner that doesn't know this information that being said it's going to be a bit more difficult for me to work on this image and i'm not sure why because the hyperlink to this image says png as a final extension so i'm not sure why it doesn't let me download it in png regardless let's jump into the image itself and let's talk about it a bit more okay so there's only one thing i would talk about in this specific image I can easily imagine this scene being a background or with like parallax effect with multiple layers in a game. Keeping that in mind, this rail, I would say, over here, which kind of looks like uh, maybe like some kind of a transportation unit is here. So this is definitely interesting. I'm not sure how it would fit in the entire scene. It probably wouldn't be able to fit into like a parallax kind of thing unless it's really really long or the scene is really really small when you look at anything else in reality and you think how you see things you will notice that whatever is closest to you you can see the most details so if you'll take a look at a glass or your phone or anything else you can see the details when it's close to you right and the further away something is from you, the less details you're able to see. This same principle would apply on the background images. So the skyscrapers or the buildings in the background should have less details, and the buildings in the front should have more details. So keeping that in mind, it's reversed here. We have more details on the buildings in the background than we have on the buildings in the foreground. I would just switch those around. For example, I can take this tone from the background, and let's create some light here. Now, again, I am doing this over your original image. So, yeah, let's do just that. Let's create a new layer. And let's speed this one up. Okay, so what I did here is just added that light inside of the window on each building here in the front. Now, because, again, we need more details on the buildings that are closest to us, we can play around with each window. So, if every window is its own apartment or a room, you can play around with lots of different things. So, let me give you just a couple of examples. I'm going to take a darker color here. And let's say this one has um, some kind of curtains. Maybe this other one has uh, some kind of a table. Maybe a chair. Maybe even a TV, who knows, though this could be maybe something else, maybe even a picture in the background. So each and every one of these windows could be something else. You can maybe even make some kind of an animation inside of these windows, um, though I think that's a bit too much for a background piece. So the building that are furthest in the background would have basically no details, essentially like this building over here. Then we have the buildings which are closer to us, maybe let's say this building, where you can already see individual windows. Then if we move even closer, for example, these two buildings, these would have even more details. And then lastly, we have these buildings in the front that would have even more details. In this case, you can even add uh, some kind of uh, texturing here in the front to add more details on the building itself and so on. So that's the only tip I will give you. Even though this feedback was really short, I hope you take this tip into mind because it's really useful and I hope to see more of you soon. That would be all for today and just remember, relax and have fun.